in evaluating this, I look at it from a whole lot of different angles. Um, one of the things, the major concern I see here is the traffic that I can see could be the biggest potential problem. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind that um, uh, knowing the history of Chancey Building Properties, that uh, they would build anything and put their name on anything that would not be aesthetically pleasing to the community. And that they, they're sitting there and listening to your concerns Knowing the men they are, I know that they're going to be going overboard to try to take care of these concerns about making sure that people in there are the right type of people that we want in our community, that you want in your community. Um, uh, making a place that is going to look aesthetically good. But one of the things that I've noticed that, that, that sometimes I think we have to understand is that, or I understand, whether you understand it or not, that's why I'm going to tell you why I understand it, is that sometimes to get things done the way they should be done, you've got to, to, to do something that causes those that can make changes to have to make changes. We all know from the time I was a boy, going around those curves, I still today, uh, um, I'm just amazed that that road is still like that. Uh, when we go out there today, when I put my mother in the car, we drive out to the winery to have a sandwich, and we go around that curve. It's like it's like a um, it's like one of those uh, go kart things that you go around those curves. But um, I go back to when uh, my family moved out to Hagen Bridge Road, and my father built a house. And we had dirt roads all around us. We developed that place and we had to go and the dirt road was bumpy and it was great, but it was, it was a dirt road. Uh, as development started and people started building homes and building apartments, um, it was incentive to pay that road to get it fixed and get it done right and to make the changes that were necessary that really enhanced that community. Um, I hate to say it, but sometimes that's what it takes to incentivize those who are in charge of things like that, like roads, to accommodate the people that are there. Because if you just let it sit as it is, no change would occur because the excuse would be used, well, why should we fix that road? Because um, it's accommodating those. We can't have, we don't have probably statistics that, that would statistically show that that, that that is a dangerous place right now. Now, I'm not saying you make it a dangerous place to get what you want. But the chances have indicated to us that they're going to start out with six units. That's how they're going to start this project. It's not like they're going to be throwing 21 units out there in six months. Am I not correct? Okay. So they'll start with six units, a small group. Um, will give us a chance to, to see that and, 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 and see how that's going to develop. And, and then we can take that and from that, we can gauge that traffic and watch that traffic. And I'm going to be one that if I vote for this tonight, I'm going to pledge that it's going to be one of my focuses to look at that road at that point to see how we can improve that road since there's more and more traffic on it. Not only fix those curves, but to straighten it out to where even the backside of Mr. Colby's property would be enhanced with a better road on the north side of his property. And um, um, to me, that would be one of my goals. Uh, in the two years I have to, to see that happen because I really believe that with, with, with what um, the chances can do to that property and what it would look like and the type of people it will attract that we can use that to incentivize those people that uh, can make a change and better that place and better those roads to make it a more um, uh, safe.
same request to make sure that when it does come to capacity, that we can have the road there that can handle that. You want to add? Yeah, I guess I'll throw my hands in the 